Yo people, what is happening? Hope you guys are all doing well. So big breaking news at Manchester United as John Myrtle has stepped down as football director. Yes, John Myrtle's a name you'll be familiar with surrounding Manchester United over the last couple of years. He's been a big um, support for Eric Ten Hag at the club as well. And he's stepping down at Manchester United. We've seen a whole load of changes um, at the club since Ineos arrived and came in at Manchester United. And now... We're going to see more because we already kind of know who his replacement will be. So we'll be getting stuck into all of that. Make sure you're keeping it locked. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. Get your thoughts in the comments below as well. And do you think we're going to see more changes at the club? Do you think this is just the start of the changes? And eventually we may get down to the manager because the results haven't been great for Manchester United. We're not going to be getting Champions League football this season. We do still have the FA Cup to play for, but we remember a time when the FA Cup wasn't enough to save Louis van Gaal. So we're in an intriguing uh, time as Manchester United fans. I'm still, you know, behind Eric Ten Hag. Look, I acknowledge he's been making a lot of mistakes and I do start to question whether he is going to survive. I still have doubts about that myself. But I'm still behind him. I kind of want to see him be given some more time with this new structure in place, with the potential new transfers and all those kind of things in place. I want to see him be given time. Um, and because of that, I feel like, just give him till Christmas, maybe. Let's see if we can change things around, have a good summer, and see where that leads us. We've had a lot of injury problems this season, but when you're conceding 30 goals, uh, shots every game, um, and you know, you're know conceding as many goals as we do, and you're not being able to hold on to, to leads like we have done. This week alone, you know, we've dropped seven points from winning positions. You know, two against Liverpool, two against Chelsea, uh, sorry, three against Chelsea, and two against Brentford. You know, two of those games we were winning in the 97th minute. And look, you look at the back line against Liverpool and you see, you know, Maguire and Willy Kambwala at the back. Look, it's difficult. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of injured players out there. Um, most, both his left backs are injured in Malassia and Luke Shaw. You know, you look at the centre backs. Um, Varane was out. Martinez has been out all season. Lindelof's out. Um, you know, Varane, uh, Varane, Lindelof. There's one that I'm missing as well. That's out for like just, uh, Johnny Evans. Sorry, how can I forget Johnny Evans? But they're just all out, um, and it's a big problem. But let's get stuck into this article. It's from the Athletic. It's from David Ornstein and Laurie Whitwell. So you know it's reliable. You give it five star for reliability. Uh, it says Man United football director John Myrtle has stepped down from his post and will leave the club this week after more than ten years' service as the Ineos-led restructure of sporting operations at Old Trafford continues. Um, the investment into United by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and the appointments he is making to key roles produced an expectation that Myrtle would depart or be offered a different position. Obviously not been offered a different position, his departing. But in a move now set to be an officially confirmed, Myrtle was decided to stand down um, and stand aside altogether and let the new setup take shape. Myrtle will effectively be replaced by Dan Ashworth once the Newcastle United Sporting Director's spell of gardening leave finishes, while Southampton Director of Football Jason Wilcox is on course to be named Technical Director. So you're already looking at a number of people that are going to be coming in at Manchester United. You know, Dan Ashworth, highly thought of. A highly thought of. He's done big things um, previously in his career. He's done, he's done well um, at Newcastle as well. And he's someone that will come in and help change Manchester United's fortunes hopefully in the transfer market not just in that area but it's a big area where Manchester United need to improve on you look at our academy at the moment and you know the 18s are doing so well at the minute you know 9-1 against Liverpool that's the real quiz um, you look at that the, you know the team that's in the under 18 we're going to have loads of academy players coming through and Dan Ashworth's job um, will be to obviously help aid their path into the first team but also it's about bringing the right players in um, and hopefully you got Omar Barada, Dan Ashworth, Jason Wilcox, again, another technical director that's been highly thought of um, coming from Southampton. We're seemingly getting all the right people in the right places. Now, that doesn't guarantee anything. Of course it doesn't. But it, it brings you closer to being able to compete if you're getting all those different things right at the top level above the manager. Because one of the things we've seen at Manchester United as well over the years is our recruitment has been abysmal. And you can say at times we sign some players and you think those are the players that we need to be signing. Get him in, get him in, get him in, get him in. But then we change managers and we bring in a different prof. And all of a sudden your squad's looking completely different. And one of the things that frustrates me as well, um, 
you know, with Manchester United and watching Manchester United at times is a lot of people will refer to these players are getting the managers sacked again. And when you actually look at it, I think most of the squad that played for Jose Mourinho, for example, isn't there anymore. Most of them have left. There's probably one or two players still remaining. So I don't fall into that either. What I believe is that Manchester United standards are allowed to drop from top to bottom. And when you see a club that's focused on commercial success more than football success, it's difficult for a manager alone to come in and change that. And we've heard every single manager complain about that as well. Um, from, from, from Moyes, Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They've all had their complaints from how the club is run above the manager. So we need to help them a lot. And that's why I tend to think we've kind of got a stick behind um, Eric Ten Hag and hope that he can turn this around. When you look at some of the options as well, and this is one of the things that worries me with Dan Ashworth, there's talk that he has a close relationship with Gareth Southgate. I look at some of the options out there and Gareth Southgate, none of them should be coming man. <laughs> All right, N Nagelsmann potential. I'd like to see him given, if Man United were to change, Nagelsmann potentially. Maybe you'd still give an interview to Tuchel, although after his performance at Bayern Munich, I'm a little bit less convinced about that. Outside of that, Ruben Amarim, who's been linked quite a lot, it looks destined for Liverpool. You go in, who really is there? Do you know what I mean? Who who is there that go bring him in right now? No, but and and that's how I felt about Eric Ten Hag actually when we brought him in. It was like bring him in right now. He's the guy to get. Um, and of course, you do hope and you do think that with the right people in place, when it does come to making those decisions, we'll be making a lot better decisions. But none of those people out there really. Ticking the boxes for me. And I think uh, Ten Hag had a good season last season. He's had a bad season this season. But I think there are some extenuating circumstances to that. Although, look, he's, made, he's got some big decisions wrong himself too. You know, sometimes starting 11, sometimes even with the players we have available, sometimes substitutions, etc. But he hasn't been helped. And maybe we have to go through this pain to eventually get somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I, th I kind of just give him some time, I think. Um, and let's see what these guys can do in terms of the recruitment and all that and, and changing the direction of the club and changing the outlook and the, the, the energy around the club because that's important too. That's very important. Just look at Newcastle, um, how, how much that's changed. Like Their squad hasn't changed a whole lot. Of course, we need to change our squad. You look at it from back to front. You go, Anana's been good recently, but we still need a goalkeeper challenging. You look at the back line, we need a few centre-backs. We need a full couple of full-backs. You know, you're looking in midfield, we need a couple of those. You're looking at wingers, we need a couple of those. All right, Garnacho, Rashford, you keep. Hoyland as well, I like Hoyland as a striker, but we need another striker. Like, we need so many players. It's mad. So these lot better get to work quick. John Myrtle's out though. It looks like Dan Ashworth and Jason Wilcox will be in. Let us know your thoughts in the, in the comments below. I think it's a good thing. Let's hope it's a good thing for Ten Hag. See you in a bit.